Gray, the frail and disheveled cat, could hardly believe his luck. After enduring countless freezing nights and enduring the pangs of hunger, he had stumbled upon a haven, a warm and inviting apartment building. With a glimmer of hope in his weary eyes, he darted through the open doorway, seeking solace and respite from his dire circumstances. The moment Gray entered the building, his weakened body rejoiced at the warmth that enveloped him. His chilled bones slowly thawed, and he gravitated towards the nearest radiator, yearning for its comforting heat. Curling up beside it, Gray closed his eyes, savoring the newfound warmth that seeped into his tired body. But as the sweet caress of slumber beckoned him, hunger once again clenched his stomach. Gray's pitiful meows pierced the stillness, his desperate pleas for sustenance echoing through the halls of the building. Startled by the noise, one of the tenants emerged from their apartment, scowling at the unwanted intruder. Get out! They barked, their voice dripping with disdain. We don't want stray cats in here. You're nothing but a nuisance. Gray's heart sank as he cowered before the irate tenant, his eyes reflecting both fear and longing. He had no energy left to defend himself or find another escape from the unforgiving cold. Despair threatened to consume him once more, until fate intervened in the form of a young girl named Kate. Hearing the commotion and witnessing the cruel treatment being inflicted upon the defenseless cat, Kate's heart swelled with compassion. With a determined stride, she approached the scene, her voice firm but kind. Leave him alone, Kate asserted, her eyes blazing with defiance. He's just looking for some food and warmth. The tenant scoffed, but Kate's unwavering determination softened their hardened resolve. With a reluctant sigh, they stepped aside, allowing Kate to scoop up Gray in her arms. Come on, little guy, she whispered, her voice filled with tenderness. You're coming home with me. Kate's apartment welcomed Gray with open arms. As the door closed behind them, he marveled at the abundance of food and the soft, inviting couch that awaited him. His weary bones sank into its plush surface, and for the first time in what felt like an eternity, he surrendered to a deep and undisturbed sleep. Gray thrived under Kate's care, and their bond grew stronger with every passing day.